Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, we will create some tests on our local REST API. And I hope in the last session, you have started the local server, the JSON server. And here, if you see on my command line, the JSON server is running. And if I go to the db.json file, we had added this data in the last session. And then if I check on my browser, and if I go to localhost 3000, it will show me the resources. So I have users and subjects. And if I go to localhost 3000 forward slash users, it gives me the users that I have here. And similarly, I have subjects. So this we have done in the, in the last session. Now I will start creating some tests in REST assured on this particular API. So I will go to my Eclipse and here is the project that we created. I am going to go to the tests package here and I will do a right click and create a new class and I will name this tests on local API. You can name it anything and say finish and this is the class and now i will create a function or method i will say public void let me very quickly create a get request so i will name this as get you can name the function anything and to make it as a test ng test i will give the annotation at test and import this from org dot test ng dot annotations and now here uh, I will first say, let me also import rest assured class in a static way. So I will say import static io dot rest assured dot rest assured class and I will say dot star to import, import everything inside the rest assured class. And now I can directly use the functions inside this rest assured class. So I will say given and I will say get and I will use the endpoint now here this is the endpoint so I can copy this and put it here or a more standard way is I will first create a base URI I will say base and control space bar and I have this base URI coming from rest assured and I will make this equals to this base URI of the API. So I will put this here and the rest of the endpoint I will put here in get. So I'm saying given when I do a get on users resource, then I'm expecting a status code of 200. So a very simple get request and if I run this, I will do a right click, run as test ng test. And here this is running fine. Everything is passed and on the console, everything is passed as well. And of course, if I want to log the response on the console, I can say log all. We have learned all this in the last sessions. So now it will also show me the users resource on the console and you can see I'm getting the response here. So a very simple get request. Now let me create a post request. I will do comment out this test so that it does not run this one. And I will create a new function public void post and also make it as a test ng test. I will say at test annotation and here we know for post we have to create the body and we have to pass the body or the payload and if I check the API let us say if I want to create a new user so I will have to pass first name last name and subject ID the ID of the user will be auto generated so I need to pass these three information items first name last name and subject ID so for that uh, I will use the json object so this is coming from simple simple json that we have added in the last sessions so this is the one i will say 
request equals new json object and then using the request i will say request dot put and i have to give the key value so the first information i have to give is first name and i can say this is equals to thomas and then again i will say request dot put then i will say here last name and value is addition and then i will say request dot put subject id and i will say subject id is let us say one here so that's it i have created the request and now i will send the post request so i will use the base uri same so i can copy and paste the base uri here and then i will say given and because this is a post i can also inform what is the content type so if i say content type i can say content type dot json you can also use headers we have seen that in the last session and i will also say that accept content type json so i am sending json and i am also accepting json and then uh, i also need to provide the body so let me put this into different lines so it is easy for it is easily readable so i will now say dot body and the body is the request variable i will pass here and to make sure that it converts into a json i will say to json string so we are providing the body also here and then i will say when so when we do a post so i will say when and i will say post and then i have to give the endpoint so this is the base uri and the endpoint where i have to post this is forward slash users and then i can say then i can say status code i can check the status code is 201 so for successful creation status code is 201 and you can also uh, check other things like some particular element in the body or uh, data in the body we have already seen in the last session so i'm not repeating those things i am just running this particular request and this should create a new resource a new user with this data on the server so let us check i will run this and this looks fine everything is passed so now i will go on my browser and refresh and yes you can see a new user is created here with id 4 and if i go on my db.json file you can also see it is asking to reload if i reload it a new user is created here so our post is successful now if i have to update this user i can use put method so let me just copy this function post function i'll copy this post and create a new function so i'm just copying and pasting this function and i will name this to put and also make it as a test ng test so i will say this is at test and i will i have commented out the earlier function so here 
I also have to provide the uh, data so I will keep this as it is and all this as it is and here instead of post I will say put and then I have to give the URI or the resource to a particular user so I will say forward slash users and forward slash four and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the first name to Albert and last name to Einstein and let us say subject ID to two so I will be updating the user ID 4 user with ID 4 and I will be updating this data so let me check and run I will run this and okay there was a failure and I believe the failure was because we did not change the status code and that is why you can see here it says expected status code was 201 but it was found uh, but actual was 200 so that is fine uh, it was our mistake we did not change the status code here so let me change it here but it should have updated the resource on the server let me check I will go to the browser and refresh and you can see it has changed the data here if I go to my file and reload you can see the data is changed here as well so this is working fine and I will also try out a patch request where I will update some particular data in this user so I will just copy this function again and paste it here and this I will change to patch so these function names you can give anything and here uh, let me just say I want to change the update the last name to do and then here I will say instead of put I will say patch on this particular user with ID 4 and this is the data we are updating so now if I run this test and status code we are checking is 200 so I am running this now and let us see the output so this looks everything is passed if I go on my browser and refresh you can see the last name is changed here and the same thing if I go to the db.json file and reload last name is changed here so this is working fine now I can also try to delete this resource so I will comment this one and create a new function public void delete and again make it as a test ng test and then the base URI is same I'll copy the base URI here and then I will say I can directly say when because I do not have any precondition I will say when I delete the resource which is forward slash users forward slash 4 so the user with ID 4 then I am expecting status code 200 or you can also say 204 in some cases we get 204 as a successful status code of deletion but sometimes we get 200 so let us check with this I will run this test and here everything looks fine this is running fine if I go on my browser and refresh you can see the user with ID 4 is now deleted the same thing if I go on my file db.json on and reload the user with ID 4 is now deleted so this is how we can do all these operations on our local API I hope this session was useful for you thank you for watching